Amen. God bless everyone that's tuned in tonight for third Sunday hour of power with the word. Amen. We're just so excited about tonight. We have a special guest on tonight. Prophet Chris Morgan will be giving the word of God tonight to the people of God. So as people tune in on the airways and on the prayer line, the circle of love prayer line, we're giving them just a few minutes to get started. So while we are waiting for those that to tune in, we will just play a little bit of the music and then we'll turn it over to Evangelist Linda Ellis. Enjoy tonight. Bring your word with you. Amen. Then I heard the song say you're going through changes. Oh, but you say what you Yeah, but no, God, I Amen, amen. God bless you. I think it's enough time for everyone to tune in tonight. We're going to get started. Amen. We thank God for this day. Amen. We want to now turn it over to Evangelist Linda Ellis. open 
that you can receive what the word of God is for tonight. Coming from from Prophet and Minister Chris Morgan, I'm going to now turn it over to the man of God. I present to you, listeners, Prophet Chris Morgan. Well, God bless everybody for joining on tonight, and we thank my sister, yes, well, Prophetess Ellis from the Circle of Love Prayer Partners. Amen, amen. And my brother, also, uh, Nino Anchorage, for allowing me to be here. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. On the airwaves with him. Amen, amen. And we will be getting a chance to talk soon. But I just I just want to come and briefly share the word of God. I'll just open up with a brief prayer. Amen. Just say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for allowing us to be here to spread your word throughout the airwaves, Lord, for, your, for, for the gospel will be preached all across the nation and some lives will be saved, healed, delivered, and set free. We thank you, Father, for your power being manifest and have your way, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Right here. Yes, Lord. On this talk show. Amen. Amen. On this radio broadcast. Have your way, Lord. Yes, Lord. Through us. We will say what you want us to say, Lord. Yes, Lord. So you can be glorified and your word will be manifested in somebody's life. And we thank Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Yes, Lord. And what I want to talk about on this evening coming from the Holy Ghost and coming from, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, the presence of God is operating in the parameters of God. Mm. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Operating from the parameters of God. And yes, Lord, yes, Lord. And, and you may ask, what is the parameters of God? That's operating in his will. Mm. Yes, Lord, for your life. Amen. And I know that everybody is inspired to do some great things and, and looking to do great things, but you cannot do things on your, your own, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, without the consultants, the approval, the stamp of approval from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Ghost that worketh through you. Amen, amen. And you cannot go against the word of God, yes, or by your own ambition, by your own goals, trying to do something, yes, or yes, or to gain prestige to man. You have to stay in the parameters of God so God can get the glory out of your life. Am I right about it? Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. It, it is designed, his will is designed for us to recognize who we are in him. Yes, Lord, yes, and why we should always give him the glory and the honor and the power that be. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, because we are operating in the glory realm of God. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, and when you look at, yes, Lord, all the things that you have done over your life, and yes, Lord, at one point in time, watch this now, at one point in time in your life when you wanted to do good and evil was always present, yes, Lord, and you always fell short, Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. God always was there to lift you up and put you back into the race. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Because he wants his people inside his parameter. Inside his, oh my God. And he will help you along the way. Yes, Lord. Even at a time when you were stubborn, when you were in your mess, doing what you wanted to do, how you wanted to do it, at some point in your life, you died. Jesus. Watch out, at some point in time in your life, you died. You might ask yourself, well, how did, I, how did I die, prophet? Yes, well, you died when you decided to give your life and put your life in the hands of God. Oh, my God, my God. When you decided to give up that old man, yes, or yes, sir, and the old man is now dead, and now the new man that's inside of you has been resurrected. Oh, my God, Amen. my God, my God. And has been birthed in some things in this season and in this time is being birthed out of you even so right now. Oh, my God, my God. Now, if you look at the things around you, uh, 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 brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. We are in a season right now where, where, where naturally everything stops growing. Jesus. I mean, you can't even cut your grass no more. You can't plant no more because this is a season where stuff that just don't grow naturally. But in the spiritual realm, watch. Yeah, now. Things never stop growing. Oh, my God, my God, oh, now. They just keep on growing year after year after year. But I want to address to you, if you turn your Bibles, turn your Bibles with me to Galatians, yes, Lord, chapter uh, chapter 2. And this is where Paul was, uh, was, was, was addressing Peter as he gave charge against Peter 
Peter because Peter wasn't operating in the glory realm of God. And he had to put him in his place to let him know that, hey man, you got to get in the glory realm of God. You got to recognize who you are in Christ. You just can't keep doing what you're doing and get so get so and expect for God to be pleased. You got Amen. to be in the glory realm of God. Amen. Am I right about it? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, well, yes, Lord. Lord. Because I believe in my spirit, yes, or through the power of the Holy Ghost, when someone leave this line tonight, they're going to be have a new attitude, a new right, a new enlightenment even in their own ministry to go out and do the will of God. We're right. Oh my God, my God. Not compromising, not trying to do it on their own accord. No, no, not trying to please people, but please God. Am Amen. I right about it? Please God. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So 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 go with me to to, to Galatians chapter 2, because we don't have a lot of time, but we're going to get this in real quick. Amen, amen. Yes, Lord. And go to uh, the 16th verse. Oh, my God, my God. Yes, Lord. Galatians 2, 16. If you got it, go ahead and say amen. Amen, Hallelujah. yes. Because amen. I want to make sure that everybody has it. Amen. And it says this here. It says this here. It says, knowing that, the, that a man is not justified by the word. Of the law. Are you there? But uh, the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by faith of Christ. Oh, did y'all hear that? that? That means that, you know what? You got to be so rooted and grounded in God. Don't you know that Christ has to have faith in you? Jesus. Come on now, don't you know that Christ himself has to have faith in you? You got to make Christ a believer. Oh my God, if you're going to do what you have promised God, you're not hearing what I'm saying. You got to stay in the race. You got to fulfill every promise. Oh my God, that you promised God. You remember what, the, what you have promised God. Lord, if you get me out of this, I'll do this. Lord, I'll serve you. I'll praise your name. I'll keep you on your lips all, all my, all my lips all day long. Oh Lord, I'll study my word. Y'all remember those promises you made, God? Oh my God, my God. And the thing is, you got to keep your promise. Am I right about it? Amen. Yeah. Yes, so, so, so therefore, brothers and sisters, he says that, yes, so you got to, now he says that this is that he says, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even Amen. we have believed in Jesus Christ, we might, we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not by the works of the law, nor by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Jesus. Oh, uh -huh. come on now. Uh -huh. That means you, you know, you can't go on your own trying to do this thing. Uh -huh. You need God. Am I right about it? Yes. Right. Keep the fights on your side. That's why no one, no one, I don't care what title they have. I don't care how long they've been in the church. I don't care what pulpit they're trying to preach out of. I'm trying to tell you, you cannot do the will of God without Jesus Christ. Amen. Without being in a relationship with him. Amen. Come on now. Somebody would say hallelujah tonight. 
Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then he said this in verse 18. He said, so, he said, for if I should build upon the rock, Relationship with. Oh, I, 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 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir, because you cannot operate outside of the will of God. And the thing about this, it was it was the con it was the content of the heart. The intent of the heart. Separated from God. Uh. It was the motives behind the ministry. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Your motives have got to be right behind your ministry. That's right. Oh, man. What are you doing this for? Are you doing this for cars, houses, and land? Mm. Jesus. Come on now. Yes, that's why the Lord says, Speak ye first to the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, what and all other things shall be added unto you. Yes. What well, is his righteousness? His righteousness is the is is his way of living. Jesus. Oh, come on now. That means you got to learn how he wants you to live. Oh, y'all not hearing what I'm saying. Oh, my, according to his word, so you will not be living outside of the parameters of God. You got to stay in the glory realm of God. Yes. Come on now. Hallelujah. Well, you know because in John in John 15 it, it talks about staying connected to the vine. And yes, Lord, and yes, Lord, and be, yes, Lord, being connected because without Christ, you can't do nothing. No, oh, no. come on now. Oh, my God, my God. Yes, Lord, I hope that this is touching somebody's heart. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, even so right now. Yes, Lord, because man, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, cannot, yes, Lord, and will not proceed without Christ. Oh, my God. No matter how hard you try. Very quickly here. Yes, sir. Turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Watch out now. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. And go ahead. Yes, sir. To the to the to the 14th verse. Oh, uh, come on now. Yes, Lord. Aren't y'all being blessed on tonight? Amen. Across radio land. Yes, yes sir. sir. Right here with you know Anchorage Radio Show. Amen. Are y'all being blessed on tonight? Amen. Oh, yes, Amen. Yes, sir. Now, 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 when I'm in the glory realm and, and, and talking from the spiritual realm, y'all got to help me on this time now. I don't want to go over the time. Take your time. Yes, yes Lord. Y'all got to help me now. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. But we in chapter 2. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Chapter 2, verse 14. Now, this is talking about now here, about being in the glory realm of God. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! Come on now. This is talking about you know you know this, this is letting us know that a natural man, which is in the soul, the natural man, which is the things that you see, the natural man. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Meaning that man is going on their own knowledge. Come on now, and not the knowledge of God. Y'all, y'all not hearing what I'm saying? You cannot proceed the things of God. I just got to be straight with you now. I told somebody before. I said if you want to know the truth. Don't ask me no questions. If you don't want to know the truth, if you don't want to know the truth, don't ask me no questions because the truth is all I got. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So, so here it is now. Y'all help me with the time now if I go over now. Yes, Lord. It's, it's this now. Starting and go with, with me to second, uh, First Corinthians chapter 2. Yes, Lord. Y'all yes, ready for this? Amen. Go and start at verse number 9. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we're we, we gonna we're gonna we're gonna close out on this one because I don't know how much time we got, but we gonna we're gonna close out on this one here. Yes, Lord. And that says the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes, Lord. So it's in, it's in chapter nine it says, But as it is written, what I have not seen, right? Amen. Nor either ear heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Oh, my God, now y'all heard that before. Am I right about it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. That means that, that means that whatever you're doing right now, oh, oh yes, Lord. And, 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 you know what? And I would even, I, you know what? And I even, I would even speak over my brother, brother Anchorage right now. I will speak over the, the Church of Love Prayer Partners right now. The things that you all are doing right now is good. But guess what? You ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, oh my, my God. God, my God, mm. my God. My but God. what God has in store for you to do, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, my God, my, my God. God. Yes, because Lord. he's preparing you to do a great work, oh, my God, for the kingdom. Yes, oh, my Lord. God, my God. And, yes, and you ought to be excited about what God is getting ready to do for you because he's getting ready to open you up even the more. Oh, oh my yes, God. Lord. Yes, Lord. To walk right into you. Oh, yes, 
for yeah, for a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. My oh God. my God. I yes. hope somebody will just thank the Lord for that. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes. Thank you. But check this out here. It says here in verse 10, it says, But God had revealed them unto us by the Spirit of God. The mm -hmm. Spirit took all things, yea, the deep things of God. Come on now. Now, you can only get that when you're in the glory realm of God. Oh, come on now. Yes, Lord. And it says, For what man knoweth the things of, of, of a man, save the spirit of a man which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of God. Come on now. Huh? Well, you got to be in the spirit of the Lord. You got to be in the parameters of God. Then you're working, working through obedience of his word to get or to experience the manifestation even in your own mind. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying. You got you when you're praying unto God, when you're studying your word, you got to be in the glory realm of God. You got to ask the Lord to just to come in and filtrate your atmosphere. Matter of fact, it is your responsibility to set your own atmosphere so God can come in and do what He will, yes or in your life. Am yes, I right? yes, Lord. Yeah. Come on now. Yes, Lord. I hope somebody's being blessed on today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So He All says to the and the Spirit searches all things, the deep things of God. And he says, For what man knoweth the things of a man? The, he says, To save the spirit of a man which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things of God that is freely given unto us. Hallelujah. Watch out now. Thank oh you. my God, my yes, God. Sir. He Christ just don't want us to be a servant of him. He wants 
Yes. Somebody is about to get healed. Oh, yes. Somebody is about to get delivered. Somebody is about to get set free from the bondage of man. Oh, yes. my God, my God. Somebody's family members are about to get healed and delivered. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From drugs, alcohol. Oh, my God. Promiscuity. From good spirits. Oh, my God. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying. Oh, my God, my God. If God be for us, then who shall be against us? Oh, my God. Yes. Not yes. Oh, my God. Come on now. Yes, sir. You 
you can't run a you can't run a restaurant with the bar without the proper inspection. You be not hearing what I'm saying. Oh, come on now. You got to be cleared of some things. You got to have the proper registration for some things. And that's the yes. same thing with God. That's why he said you got to study in and second Timothy two fifteen. You got to study to show yourself approved unto God. Yes. Rightly the about the word of God. Am yes. I right about it? Because you ain't got to be ashamed of the word of God. You ain't got to be ashamed of who you are. Yes. You ain't got to bow down to nobody. I don't care how many people follow somebody. Yes, sir. That's why these, these so-called preachers out here, yes, sir, that's preaching these sugar-coated messages around, across these pulpits, ain't doing nothing but leading these people astray. That's why God said, my people perish. Why? Because the lack of knowledge. Yes, sir. Of knowledge. Yes, because sir. they're not getting what they're supposed to be getting. They're yes. not getting what they need to be fed. Oh my God, my God. But I'm so glad that God has put people in place. Yes, sir, that's going to stand by the truth. Yes. That is willing to die for the word of oh, God. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Yes, that's God. willing, yes, sir, yes, sir, to sacrifice all. Oh my God. Yes. For the glory of God to come down. Amen. Amen. We amen. got for us the glory in. We got to we got to be so rooted and bedded in the glory realm of God that yes, sir, that angels that yes, sir, start showing up. Yes, in places where you command. Yes. Oh, my God, don't you know that you even got charge over the angels? My God. Oh, my God, my God. Yes, sir, that the angels of God is waiting on you to dispatch them. All you got to do is get in the glory, yes, sir, and operate out of the uh, out of the uh, uh, the authority of God. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, my God, my God. Operating in the spiritual authority that God has given you, and you can send your angels out to flight and say, go get what God has for me. And they will, oh, my God, yes, sir, and they ready to go, yes, sir, and get and bring back what God has for you. All you got to do is walk in spiritual authority, the authority of Jesus Christ, walking uh -huh. in his glory. Am I right about it, y'all? Right. I, I hope I'm helping somebody. How much time I got? Take your time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because, see, 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 that's one thing, that's one thing that, that people have to understand. You know, look around you now. The death angel is present. Yes. It's speaking people out like never before. Yes, he is. Yes. But the we, but see, the thing about it is, yes, sir, yes, sir. Dominion, death should have no dominion over us. Woo. Death should not have no dominion over us like it's taking over us because the people stop praying. The people stop depending on God. They stop giving God reverence. That's why, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, the devil is out there seeking whom he may devour. Mm. Yes. He's taking people out. My God. But we got to stand up in spiritual authority to start speaking against those things. Yes sir, yes sir. And you know what? Everything starts at home. Yes, it does. Amen. Yes. Y'all yeah, not hearing what I'm saying? I'm telling. I'm speaking to parents all across the all across the nation. Let me tell you something. You got to take your house back. Yes, sir. Amen. You got to take your house back. Your kids ain't old enough to where they run. They run in your house now. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying? God has given you that house to, for you to be in a spiritual authority, and He said, "Train up a child in the way that they should go." No Christian parent, no parent that's supposed to be walking in the authority of God, should not allow their children to run them. My God. Right. Oh, watch out now. He said, train up a child in the way that they should go, and then when they get old enough, they won't depart from it. Am I right about it? Y'all heard that over and over again, right? Yes. But this is what they missed it at. This is what they missed it at. He said, train up a child. Uh-huh. Not just your child. He said, any child you come in contact with, you're supposed to be training them. Nice. Jesus. And then another thing on that scripture, he never put an age limit on it. So therefore, your teaching, yes or yes, and your training never stops. And as you rise to the next level in God, your children should be rising because you're training them up in the way that they should go. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have the authority to pray over your children. And you know what? Some, some, somebody on this line, my child, might have left home and went off on their own. And yes, sir, and they and they child may be experiencing some things, yes, or uh, hardship and going through life and, and struggling and always calling mama back for money and always begging and always doing these things and all this and all that. Yes, sir, but I declare right now that the parents are getting ready to step up to the plate and start speaking over their children's lives. Yes, sir, yes, sir, and start, yes, sir, casting out some things and casting out these demons that's in these children out here. 
here. Yes, Lord, yes, they'll start playing more with their children. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, I don't care how old they are. They can be 30, they can be 40, it doesn't matter. You as a parent, you got to stand up in the authority of God because you're operating in the parameters of God. Yes, Lord, and as God speaks to you, you your responsibility is to save those who are lost. You're not hearing what yes. I'm saying. Amen. Oh my God, how much time I got? I keep checking now. Uh, you got time, yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Uh, God bless you, brother Anchorage. Amen. 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 So, so the thing is, y'all, is this now? Now, now, now we, now we as leaders of God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Has to look at this thing. Yes, Lord. Get through the spiritual eyes of God. No longer can we look at our own selves. And even you leaders that that even own the line. Yes. Oh my stop looking at your current situation. Uh-huh. Because the thing about it, the Bible says that hope that is seen is not hope. Uh, mm. now, but but hope is the thing that is not seen. Yes. Now, watch out now. Come on now. Yes, yes. Lord. Come on now. Come on, leaders. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Now, 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 real quickly here. Uh, the Lord, the, the, the Holy Spirit is really moving right now. If you go to Hebrews right now. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 6. Hebrews chapter 6 now. Come on now. Now, now see, the thing about it is, and this is how, this is how uh, people are being kept in bondage. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, on, the, on, on some of these messages. Because what they're doing is that they're preaching. Yes, Lord, if you really listen to them, they only preaching the basic things of Christ. Mm. Uh, because they're not tapped into the glory realm. Oh, my God. Everybody knows Jesus on the main line. Just tell them what you want. Am I right about it? Mm. Amen. <laughs> yeah, go. Everybody knows Jesus died on the cross. Mm. You know that? But, but, but see, the thing about it is, is this now. The thing about it is, is this. In, in Hebrews 6 and 1, it says this. It says, therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ. Amen. Watch out now. Here we go. This is going to really, really bless every last one of you. But he said, let us go unto perfection. Mm. Not laying against the the foundation of repentance from dead works. And then of faith toward God. So how many of y'all know that faith without works is what? Is needed. Yes. That means that if you ain't operating wholeheartedly in the faith of God, then what you're doing don't mean a thing. Don't mean a thing. Yes, sir. Just do it. You got to have the faith of God. Now, check this out now. It says in verse 2, it says, For of the doctrine being baptized and the laying on of hands and of the resurrection of the dead and even eternal judgment. Now, this we will do if God permits. Yes, sir. But check this out. He said, For it is impossible. For those who were once enlightened, for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift, who were made partakers of the Holy Ghost, the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. And he says, if they shall fall away to renew themselves unto repentance, seeing they crucified to themselves, the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame. You know what that means? That means you know you have seen the move of God. You know what God did for you. You know how far God has brought you. He brought you from a mighty, mighty, mighty long way. Yes. He has done great things for you. He has saved you. He has delivered you from the hands of the enemy. Some of us could have been dead and buried in our grave. But thanks be unto God that he saw fit for us to be here still in the land of the living. Yes. Oh, my God. And if I can do his will and to learn of his way. But the thing is, is what he, what, what he was saying right here is saying that if you keep on going back, doing the same old stuff, if you keep letting the cycles set in your life and you keep going back, doing the same old thing, and you're never moving on to perfect the things of God, then what you're doing is, yes, sir, yeah, you're going back after to repent over and over and over again. Oh, my God, my mm. God. And he said, and basically what he said, he said that you, you, you crucified the son of man afresh, uh, afresh, yes, sir, and oh, put him to an open shame. So what you're doing is, in front of all these people, as you're repeating your cycle, you making Jesus Christ look like a fool. Mm. Jesus, my God, my Lord, the 
defending or over you. And you never come into the knowledge of God. My God. Oh, Lord, no God. Mm. Mm. Nothing I got. We have plenty of time. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So, so therefore, he said, yes, Lord. So, therefore, oh, my God, I, I want to help somebody right here on this talk show, on this radio show, because I can just feel in the spirit that somebody is ready to go to the next level in God. Am I right about it? Yes, Lord. Yes, yes sir. Yes, Lord. And God, I can feel the glory realm of God falling in this room right where I am. And he is coming on this line. And I can just feel that somebody feels the power of God even so right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes, Lord. And yes, Lord. And yes, Lord. Let me tell you something. Even while I was speaking, the Holy Ghost spoke to me at the same time. And then well, you know what he said to me? He said that somebody's atmosphere is about to take a shift. My God. Lord. My God. God. Jesus. Somebody's atmosphere is about to change. Come on now. Oh, thank you, God. my God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He said, look at all. He said, look at all what you're accomplishing right now. Look at what you look. Look, just look all around you. Look at what you got and all the things that you're doing. And what he's saying is there is more. Hallelujah. Thank yes. you. Yes. There is more. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. No, he, yes, Lord. And he, you know, he let me know a long time ago. He said, it's not your nine to five job that's going to get you there. That's mm. right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Those paychecks ain't going to do nothing for you. All it's going to do is, 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 is sustain you or maintain you for the moment. That, that, that those jobs were never designed to oh, get you where you need to be in God. Supernatural. My God. Oh, come on now. Because check this out. He said that it is your gifts that will make room for you and put you in front of the great men. Hallelujah. Yes. God put down inside of you is what's going to open those doors. Oh, my God. And let me tell you something about so, Oh, my God, my God. Watch out now, brother. Watch out now, brother Anguish. Yes. Right now, whoever's listening on this line, let me tell you something. If there is some doors that's about to open that no man can shut. Yes. Bless you, Lord. But at the same time, there is some doors that's about to close that no man can reopen. Not oh, even you. Because you are getting ready to get caught up into the glory realm of God. And, yes, Lord, and you are at the right place at the right time. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, God sir. is saying you in the right place tonight at the right time. Not just because we come together you know, yes, Lord, on a radio show today. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, to talk about him. And yes, no, man, he not. He's saying because you are in the same mindset and the same spirit that he's about to move on your life like never before. Yes. Say, well, take me and hearken unto my voice. And when you hearken unto my voice, yes, Lord, as he said in Deuteronomy 28, and yes, Lord, yes, Lord, 1 through 14, he said, blessed will you be in the city. Blessed will you be yes. in the field. Yes, blessed will you be in the fruits of your body, in the fruits of thy kind. Oh, my God. And even in your store, he said, blessed will you be in your coming in. Blessed will you be in your going out. Yes. And when your enemies try to come up against you, one way or the other. Yes. Amen. Amen. Come on now. 
Yes. Yeah, how much time I got? Yes. Thirty minutes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, 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 now. Let me let me show y'all something now. Let me show y'all something now. Now let, let me tell you something. And this is gonna help you, and this is on a personal level. This is concerning the people that who come up against you. And the only reason why you're being attacked, and the only reason why you're being talked about is because the enemy is trying to stop you from getting to what God wants you to be. My God. <laughs> That's the only reason why you're being attacked. And, and you know what? The devil is slick. That slick fool. He tried to use even your family members to come up against you. My God. Come up against you. Even your own spouse to go against you and don't look at you like you should. Come on now. Teach it, yes sir. Teach it. And because, 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 because he knows that you're on your verge of a breakthrough. He knows that you're on your verge of coming into the knowledge of God. So all I'm here to encourage you to do is let God have His way in your life. Have oh, yeah. in God. Come on now. Yes, yes. You know what? When somebody come up against you or talk about you, don't get bent out of shape. Don't run into a corner, don't start crying and somebody try to hurt your feelings or say something evil or, or anything against you. Because you know what that is? That ain't nothing but free advertisement. Amen. Mm. Glory. Glory. Only it shows them just how blessed you are. Because if somebody can waste their time out of their 24 hour day to come up against you, yes, Lord, then that's free advertisement for you. Mm. And that's how God can get the glory out of you when you spend your time in the God ignoring those who come up against you because they say if you resist the devil, oh you know, my God, my God, he shall flee from you. Oh my God, come on now. Yes. Yes, Lord. And you know what? Check this out now, and this may be a hard thing for some, but it is, but it, but it's the order of God. Come on now. Even love those who come up against you. Yes. Uh huh. Oh, come on now. I don't even love those who come up against you. Say, oh, you know what? Your radio show ain't going to go nowhere. Oh, you ain't nothing. Yo, it ain't going to happen. You just another line. I go to all kind of lines. Oh, why, I come, why should I come to your show? My God. Why should I be with you with our prayer partners? Why should I come with, 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 with Prophet Morgan? Why should, I, why, should I, why should I go anywhere? Why should I come with y'all? What, what makes you better than them? Come on now. My God. But we don't stop doing what we want because they're speaking against us. That's right. We got to love them. Yes. the love of Jesus Christ. Am I right about it? Yes. Amen. And this will help you. Check this out. And keep this in mind as you move forward. They may be an enemy to you, but you don't have to be an enemy to them. My yes. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Because the Bible says when your enemies come up against you, if they're hungry, give them something to eat. Yes. That's right. That's right. If they're give them something to drink. Because see, when they, when they come up against you, they only eat the coals on their own head. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying. Because the Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my what? My prophet no harm. Come on now. I hope somebody's being blessed tonight. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So, 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 therefore, as you move forward in the things of God, Keep in mind, you got to stay in the presence of God. Yeah. Worshiping Him in spirit and in truth. That's what yeah. needs to go across the board. Nobody talks about worship. Nobody talks about worshiping God in spirit and truth. They may say it in a scripture or they may say it over the pulpit, but 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 but, but operating in the spirit in spirit and truth, you got to get into the glory realm of God. And it is personal. Yes, sir. It's a personal thing. Am I right about it? Amen. Yes, sir. Oh, my God, my yes, God, sir. my God, my God. And I see somebody, I can see somebody, I don't know who it is, I don't know who it is on this line, but I, 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 but, but somebody, I think, I think somebody was on Friday. Oh, my God, my God, my God. They, was, they, 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 they came up short on some money and couldn't pay some, for something. Oh, come on now. Watch out now. This is the Holy Ghost. And I don't know who it is. Oh, my God. But he said somebody came up.
came up short on Friday. Somebody got distorted because they was lacking on something. Oh, my God. And the Holy Ghost is saying on this evening, mark my word, mark my word, as soon as you start trusting me Uh with all of your heart, I'm going to change everything. And you will not want for nothing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, come on now. Because he said this, he said this, he said that the plans, that the thoughts that I have of you, uh-huh. is the thoughts of peace and not of evil. Right now, give you an expectation. Don't yeah. you know that God will help your expectation? Yes, yes, he will. Amen. Yes, he will. Amen. Every time. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. God will bless you so much, you can't do nothing but expect more from him.
been saved. That, that's been caught up in your own mind, thinking that you are. But we try, we're trying to help you in the love of Christ. Yes, or yes, or yes, or that if you're lacking somewhere in some area, doing things for God, then then, then, then you have to look at yourself. Because the Bible says, you uh, let a man examine himself. That's mm. right. Yes, sir. You can't just go and assume that you got it right. You got to check with God and say, Lord, am I doing what you're supposed to do? Check in his word. Am I following your word like I should, Lord? Come on now. Yes. Oh, uh, he's in relationship with him. Jesus. Oh, my God, my God. My, and you know what? You need to be around some friends or some people or some the, the family of God that's going to tell you the truth. Yes. And not lie to you. That's right. It's time out for being lied to. Yes. Come on now. It's time for the truth to come in. And that I'm glad that the Lord had given me the spirit of boldness to tell the truth. Amen. According to his word. It's not uh, it's not my knowledge because everything I'm talking about is coming from the word of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So, so therefore, I am so grateful to have this opportunity to be right here on the Nino Anchorage Show. Amen. Amen. And uh, with the Circle of Love Prayer Partners with, 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 with Prophetess Ellis, I am so excited. And yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And I look more, you know, to doing more and more with you. Amen. As we grow the body of Christ like never before. Oh, my God. Because I see great things. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And you know what? And let me let me tell y'all something. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for giving this real quick. Let me tell y'all something. It's time to get it really serious about your walk with Christ. Yes, right. Yes. Now, now, watch this, Nino. Watch this, Nino. Watch this now. This is truthful now. Because the Lord has showed me in the spirit realm that when this election takes place, my, my. All hell is going to break loose. And the people of God have got to be in place. That's right. Yes. They've got to be ready, yes, Lord, to lay hands on the sick so they shall recover. And let me tell y'all something. When he say lay hands on the sick, he's not just talking about people with an ailment or disease now. Yes, That's right. He's not just talking about with people with cancer or, or liver problems or anything. Not, 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 not. He's, not, he's, not so, he's not so shallow that's what he's talking about. That's not what he's talking about. Because don't you know that there are some pastors out there that are committing suicide? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Come on now. There are, some, there are some leaders out there that's about to break them raising or uh, losing their mind. There is some leaders that's operating in the pulpit that's operating in the spirit of perversion. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Mm. Yeah, I do. My God. Yeah. And you got to be ready. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. As it says right here. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In, in, in Ezekiel. How much time do I have, my brother? You got time, brother. Yes, Lord. And, and, and this is to the leaders on this line. Listen to what I'm saying. You got to listen very carefully. And I've said this on my talk show before, but I'll say it again. Thank you, Holy Ghost, because, yes, Lord, what's, what's about to take place? You got to be ready for it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not just talking about addressing people in the street. Mm. I'm talking about addressing people in the pulpit. My God. Yeah. That's addressing that's not you know, operating the word of God like it should, and there's no deliverance taking place. Mm. Right. I'm going y'all have been in some churches that y'all left out the same way y'all came. My God. Amen. Mm. Mm. They felt nothing. And y'all sat there and probably half some of y'all probably fell asleep. <laughs> but I, 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 I'm just saying. Now, now, check this out. Yes, Lord, if the Lord just let it to me, I'm going to Ezekiel right now. Ezekiel 3, and, uh, 3 uh, uh, verse 18. Where it says this here. Now, 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 you don't have to go, but you can read it on your own time. Ezekiel 3, 18. You need to read this. Every leader on this line needs to read this because this is our responsibility. This is our responsibility as of a people of God. This is our responsibility. And this is what God is saying. It says that when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, mm -hmm. and thou givest him not warning, nor speaketh to warn the wickedness of his wicked way to save his life. Mm -hmm. he, just, he, he said the same 
same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at your hand. My God. This is to every leader on this line tonight. This is from the Holy Ghost. If you do, if you see some wickedness going on and you don't say nothing, and then and then something happens to that very soul that is that is going, that is doing iniquity, but you never said nothing. You never hold your tongue. You held your tongue and you never said nothing. And something happens to the bad if it because I, because you did not say nothing, then their blood is required of your hand. My Lord. My Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us. There are already people that are in jail for, and for crimes they didn't commit. Yes, sir. In the natural realm. But now, how would you like to be charged? How would you like to be charged with somebody's death in the spiritual realm because you did not kill them? Mm. My Lord. And you're supposed to be a child of God. Come on now. Amen. I'm trying to help somebody. Oh, he said this now. He said, but if yet the wicked, uh, uh, if it does not turn from his wicked ways, uh -huh. of course he's going to die in his own iniquity because he didn't turn. But he says, but you have delivered your soul. That means that you were obedient to God. Come on now. Yes. Thank you, Father. But check this out. He said this. Again, when a righteous man, a righteous man, a preacher, a pastor, a bishop, a prophet, anybody, come on now, a righteous man. Not, he said that they that, that, that turned away from his righteousness and commit iniquity. And I will put a stumbling block before him, and he shall die. Because thou hast not given the, uh, uh, him warning, but, but but he shall die in his iniquity, and his righteousness shall not be speaking of, not be remembered. And he said this, and his blood will I require at your hand. This is where we lead on the line. We got to start speaking the truth. We got to start researching the Bible. We got to start researching and going by the truth. But you know, you know, Christ said this. Christ said, I do what my father do, and I say what my father say. Exactly. He said that my meat is doing the will of, of the Father. Now, if you call yourself a child of God, you call yourself a Christian, you call yourself a leader, just so, and, they, and you know what? And they ask Jesus, they say, Jesus, who is thy brother? Who is thy sister? He said, those who do the will of the Father. That's right. Come on now. So so the thing is, we got to do the will of the Father. We got to keep on pushing. Yes, sir, do the right thing because this is none of this is about us, but it's all about God getting the glory out of our life. Amen? Amen. 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 God bless you. I'm going to stop right here. Yes, sir, because I want to hear from uh, uh, Nino and, uh, and, and Prophet Zealous and everybody. I'm going to stop right here. The Holy Ghost is saying stop right here and respect the man of God. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Prophet. What a wonderful word. I hope everybody was filled up and enjoyed the word on tonight. Amen. We got to start telling the truth. And I think you've been hearing that over and over again. And the time is at hand. He said so many things that we've already talked about. So we know confirmation is there. People are going to lose their minds. So much evil. And this time is winding out. People are dying left and right. I mean, the funeral homes are, are filling up every day. They got somebody up at the funeral home. And people still walking around dead. So it's time to wake up and it's time to shape up. And I just want to thank them again for being on the show show tonight at this time if anybody have any prayer requests we'll do those real quickly if not we'll ask the man of god to pray amen for us and uh then we'll turn it over to evangelist linda ellis yes, yes sir and anybody that have any prayer requests i have a prayer request go ahead uh, i would like to ask for my husband please for his life for salvation. Amen. Amen. Hey, that sounds like Sister Veronica right there. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Anybody else? Well, amen. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Well, we thank God for the prayer request and everything, and I'll go ahead, if you, if you would like, I'll go ahead and pray if you like. Yes, amen. I'd like, I like to ask prayer for um, my mother and my father. They're elderly, and I just like to uh, ask prayer for them. Their, mind, their spirit, mind, body, and soul. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes. We also want to we also going to pray for our brother, uh, Nino Anchorage, amen. We're going to pray for him. And uh, also Prophet Ellis, amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And you know what? As I pray, y'all keep me in prayer. Amen. amen. God bless you. Yes. Because y'all know, know the true work of God ain't easy. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Y'all keep me in prayer. Amen. Amen. And I would like to say, Father, in the name of Jesus we thank you, Father. We thank, thank you, dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, for your grace and your mercy, your love and your kindness. Father, we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, for opening up the doors of your glory realm, God, unto us, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for your unconditional love, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you, Father, for wrapping your loving arms around us, Father, guiding us, God, through your Holy Ghost, God, in the name of Jesus, that, that he leads us and guides us into all truth, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, for creating opportunities and opening up doors, God, to spread your word for your souls to be saved, Father, in the name of Jesus, heal, deliver, and set free, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you continue to bless your people from the crown of the head to the soles of their feet, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, touching lives, God, and healing families, Father, bringing marriages together, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes, or healing marriages, God, and strengthening marriages, Father, as they become God. Yes, or even the soul, one flesh in you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I ask, Father, that you, God, yes, or touch Sister Veronica right now and her husband, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I ask, Father, that you, God, touch that marriage, God, from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet, Father. I ask, God, that you touch the Father. Finances. I ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you begin to open up doors, Father. Yes, yes. Lord. Most of all, Father, change their heart, God, to the heart of obedience. Oh, in yes. the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes, Lord. Change their heart, Father. Change their atmosphere, Father, in the name of Jesus, so yes, we can be Lord. conducive to what you want to do in their life, Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you touch God, Prophet, and tell us, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes. That you touch our parents right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. That you the language, God, yes, or any sickness or any disease, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you destroy the yokes of any bondage in their mind, yes, or any dementia tries to slip in, Father, any God, yes, or yes, or yes, or yes, or all kinds of trying to slip in. And Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you cover them, Father. I pray, Father, that you strengthen their bones. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you help them even in their financial area, Father. In the name of Jesus, I even go as far as God removing all the medicines on them, the medicine cabinet, Father, because they have been healed, delivered, and set free in you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray, Father, that you touch God, Prophet, and tell us, Father, and yes. he goes, Father, get to our fourth in ministry. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, Father, touch your ministry and bless the circle of love, prayer partners, and everybody that's attached to her. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, Father. In the name of Jesus, that you open up doors, Father. In the name of Jesus, that you open up opportunities, Father. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I pray, Father, that you touch our brother home tonight, Father. Yes, Lord, Nino, Anchorage, Father. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God. And his effort, God, yes, Lord, to get your word heard, God, on the airways, Father. In the name of Jesus. Lord. Yes, Lord, I pray, Father, that you touch him and his family in the name of Jesus, Lord. That you touch him, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. Give him, God, in the name of Jesus, the, the finances and everything, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, I see new equipment coming, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, for him, Father, yes. in the name of Jesus, Lord. I see, God, yes, Lord, better airways coming, Father. I see him connecting to other nations, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, so he can get the word out, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, because God, I know, 
that you see his heart, Father, in the name of Jesus. And I know, Father, that you are giving him an expected end, Father, in the name yes, of Jesus, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. Help him to keep going, Father. Yes. Help him, God, in the name of Jesus, God, day by day, that they do not let the God, your leaders, become weary and well-doing, yes. in the name of Jesus, Lord. But let them, God, make their requests they know unto you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes, Lord, knowing that you have, God, yes, Lord, what they need. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, according to your riches in glory, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I ask, God, that you continue, God, to bless, God, their homes. I ask, God, that you continue to bless their health. I ask, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, so that, that you break down every barrier that's around them, Father, every racial barrier, every hatred barrier, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. That people will see them and know that they are blessed by you, Father, in the name of Jesus. People, God, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, that you will keep them above only and not beneath. You will make them the head and not the tail, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I thank you, Father, for your deliverance, Father, that somebody, Father, will heal this show and be healed, delivered, and set free. Somebody will call in, yes, or wanting to repent of their sins. Somebody, God. In the name of Jesus, we'll put off the old man. Yes, or yes, or yes, or so the new man can rise up and be who they are in God in the name of Jesus, Lord. And we thank you, Father, for preparing us, God, for what is to come soon, Father, in the name of Jesus. That you're putting your people in place in the name of Jesus, Lord. That you just strategically, God, bringing your people together to be on one accord with one mindset. And that's to lift up your name and glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And, and amen. 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 Evangelist Linda Ellis. Praise the Lord. I'd just like to thank um, thank the man of God, Prophet Minister uh, Esther Chris Morgan for coming and giving us an awesome word. And I exhort us to follow the two men of God, young men of God that are old soldiers, and that's Prophet Morgan and Pastor. He is a now a new pastor at the church in Lewisburg. You can um, inbox him or follow him, and he'll give you the information. Men, uh, pastor, I call him Minister Chris, but he's a prophet as a minister as well. His talk show in the morning is from 7 to 8. Go on his page or the Circle of Love, Fat Partners page, and let us support these of God. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. 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 We want to thank again everyone for tuning in tonight. Don't forget, every third Sunday we have a uh, hour of power with the word brought to you by the Circle of Love Prayer Partners Group and the TMA Radio Show. We want everyone to have a blessed night. Amen. If you dis if you missed the first portion of this broadcast, you can go back once I finish and listen to the whole thing in entirety. God bless you. I love you with the love of the Lord. Thank you so much. A wave of your hand can command the seas to hold their peace. If you can handle the seas, then I know that you can deal with all my needs. So I will put every situation into your capable I don't have to know the plan because you are, you are the sovereign God. You're bigger than all, bigger than all my problems. In every situation.
Amen. We want to just thank you, you and you for tuning in tonight for Third Sunday Hour of Power. Each and every third Sunday at 7 o'clock, we bless, we bless God for the word of came forth tonight from Prophet Chris Morgan. Amen. We want to just thank you again. Uh, the word is, is true. The word is strong. Sometimes we don't we don't we don't see that anymore. We don't see uh, our preachers and people are leaving out the same way they came in. And we just thank God for the word. Amen. We thank God for this broadcast. We thank God for you listeners that continue to tune in every week to listen in on the show. You can always listen to today's worship service. Go back and listen, share it with your friends because somebody need to know that, that the word is true and that God is real and he will do exactly what he says that he would do. The weather forecast tonight, we're looking at mostly clear skies, low of 58 degrees. Monday, high of 82 with a low of 60. And Tuesday, high of 84 with a low of 62. Wednesday, clear skies. High of 86 with a low of 64. Thursday, partly cloudy. High of 83 with a low of 63. Friday, chance of rain and showers. High of 75 with a low of 54. Saturday, chance of rain and showers. High of 68 with a low of 48. And Sunday, mostly clear. High of 70 with a low of 48. And that's your seven-day forecast. The load is heavy and I'm breaking down I want to make it over but I don't know how My heart is screaming and my faith is gone I'm barely breathing but I'm holding on I'm so broken, numb to the pain Lifeless, hopeless, I feel ashamed Seem to break these chains I just need about two or three To help me call his name Oh, pray for me, pray for me I feel like giving up right now Pray for me, pray for me Lord, spare your child Pray for me, pray for me I need to know that someone cares Pray for me, pray for me Standing in the need of prayer I don't need the money I need your help I feel my life is ending I need your prayer Could somebody call on Jesus To save me from myself I've never been here before Please help me I'm so broken Numb to the pain Lifeless, hopeless I feel so ashamed Seem to break these chains I just need about two or three Help me call his name oh. Pray for me, pray for me I feel like giving up right now Pray for me, pray for me Lord, please spare your child Pray for me, pray for me I need to know that someone cares Pray for me, pray for me Standing in the need of prayer I need
listening to the song right now. anybody know my struggle? Standing in the need of prayer. Does anybody know my pain? Put a word in for me. Call on Jesus. Tell my father. Tell him that I need him. All right, brothers and sisters, I got one more song for you tonight while, we, while we're while leaving the air. We want to thank again uh, Evangelist Linda Ellis and the Circle of Love Prayer Partners for sh sharing it with us, with the Prayer Line listeners. And also, I want to thank you again, uh, TMA Radio Show listeners, for tuning in. And as uh, Evangelist said, uh, Prophet Morgan has a, a morning show he's on. And also... Myself, Pastor Ackridge, Healing Word Ministries, if you don't have a place to worship, and come on down and let us enjoy the Lord together and let us hear a word from God because I believe in the word to be true and I believe everything that he says, amen? Because you can't say anything unless the Spirit leads you because you'll know for yourself that it's not you but the Lord speaking, the Lord talking. We want to thank each and every family that was represented all across the world because this uh, broadcast is worldwide and we just thank God for that. We thank God for just being a tool to get the message out, the good news of Jesus Christ, the gospel. Amen. So we love you with the love of the Lord. Have a blessed weekend and m make sure you are tuned in on tomorrow, Monday, between 7 and 8 p.m. on Monday night. And then Tuesday, between 7 and 8 p.m., we will tune in hopefully with apostle michael branch prayer line so we want you to be in the midst and don't forget the men's conference amen those that are still listening to this broadcast the men's fall men conference is october the 28th 29th and 30th friday night at seven o'clock we will have pastor clinty wilkins at uh seven o'clock on saturday night we have apostle michael branch and on sunday at 11 o'clock we will have apostle Corey Branch at 11 o'clock. So men, women, all invited. Amen. The address is 211 South Beacon Boulevard, Lewisburg, North Carolina, 27549. And that's where Healing Word Ministries have a service each and every Sunday at 11 o'clock. Bible study will be this Tuesday starting at 7 o'clock. Come on down and let us disciple the Word of God together and pray together at a most more uh, convenient, more relaxed setting. And we can discuss, we can pray, we can talk about things more on Tuesday night than we can on Sunday morning worship service. So keep everything in mind. Amen. And we love you again. God bless you all. And we'll see you on tomorrow.